And greetings all, it's Max, and we're back, and today we're going to talk about uh, losing the war in Afghanistan. Uh, it's not really big news, but uh, yeah, we've been in Afghanistan for 20 years because apparently some guy in a cave uh, took out two big buildings with jets. Um, so that, of course, has the ongoing war uh, in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan and all those things. We're going to root, root out the Taliban. That's what we're going to do. You know, forgetting the fact that I think uh, Russia had been in there for 20 years trying to do the same thing, just basically take over the country because of several reasons, resources that it has that uh, people want. And the idea Taliban bad, we got to go in there. We got to go save the we got to go save Afghanistan from the Taliban. And then you come to find out that, you know what the Taliban actually is. The Taliban are Afghan Afghani citizens and Afghani peoples. They just happen to have guns, and they don't like America or Russia or anyone else coming into their country and trying to kick them around. So they kicked us out. Good for them. America had no business being there, none whatsoever. And I'm sorry for anybody who had to go over there, get hurt, injured, or lose their life or anything on the American side, but never should have been there in the first place. Especially when you find out not long after America goes into Afghanistan, you find out what they're really doing. They're growing their opium fields so the, the CIA can go back to selling drugs. Did you know that when the Taliban were taking over, it was like an Islamic revolution where they're going back to Sharia law, they, they stopped all that drug production, all of the opium. So what did America have to do? Well, their supply of opium dried up. Well, we got to go back over there. We got to go back over there. And of course, when you look at Google and you try to Google U.S. soldiers guarding poppy fields, you don't get nothing. Here's what you get from Google. Overwhelmed by opium. Oh, we tried. We tried so hard. Tried so hard to get rid of, get rid of the poppy fields. Like this whole thing of this is a new war. Gloves are off. Uh, Air Force Brigadier General. Um, saying, oh yeah, we're going to go at, we're going to go forward and we're going to, it's going to be a game changer. And, uh, the Taliban is definitely feeling it. We're going to, we're going to go look at that. They're burning stuff. Oh boy. The, the article, there are several of them. The entire first page of Google search results is about how, how bad, you know, the opium problem is in Afghanistan. And isn't it terrible? We have to do something. Well, if you search on duck, duck, go, and you search for what I said, U.S. soldiers guarding poppy fields, you get the actual articles from 2010 when we're over there, U.S. NATO troops patrolling opium poppy fields in Afghanistan. You know, those poppy fields weren't there before the Americans got there. Where did they get the seeds? Because if they hadn't been growing poppy, where did they get the seeds? Oh, they got them from the soldiers. Oh, they got them from the military. Well, this must be some mistake. Who, who are the, why would troops be guarding poppy fields? Because the Taliban had come in and burn them? No, they're guarding poppy fields because that's their property and that's their crop. Who, who, who are these farmers in Afghanistan selling the opium to if opium is illegal all over the place and there's a big war on drugs? Who, who are, who are they selling it to? Sorry, I get a little upset because guys, wake up. The government's not your friend. These photos have been released by the Department of Defense and ISAF over the last few years. Some of these photos discuss instances of troops helping with the destruction of poppy fields. Many of the photos do not mention anything related to the destruction or removal of poppies. and Instead, they describe how troops patrol through and around the fields. In one instance, a U.S. soldier even seems to be helping with the cultivation. A recent report from Geraldo Rivera, which aired late in April on Fox News, um, said they encouraged the Afghans to grow different crops. However, out of fear of losing stability, a pot poppy cultivation is tolerated and even supported. These Afghan farmers have no, no seeds because they've been growing other crops with the Sharia law going with the Taliban and with the Muslims. Uh, 
Uh, in November 2009, the Afghan Minister of Counter Narcotics said General uh, something something stated that the majority of drugs are stockpiled in two provinces controlled by troops from the U.S., U.K., and Canada. So they take the drugs that are being patrolled and protected by United States and NATO troops and they stockpile them in military bases. Gosh, it's a war on drugs, man. It's a war on opium. Wake up, guys. Wake up. He also said that NATO forces are taxing the production of the opium. And that foreign troops are earning money from the drug productions in Afghanistan. What was the war about? What was the war about? What was the war about Saddam Hussein and, and cave guy, the cave guy? Was it was that what it was about? No. It was about America's trafficking drugs. That's what it was about. And lithium and a couple other things. That's why people want this place. But you understand, it's no wonder we lost. There's no way you're gonna win a war like this. In Afghanistan that has no real official government. You understand that's like um somebody trying to evade America and 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 saying, Oh, we're only at war with the Democrats. Right. Someone invades and they go, we're going to protect you. We're going to protect you. Republicans don't worry. We'll protect you from the Democrats. We're only going to go to war with the Democrats. No, you're going to be at war with the entire country. It doesn't matter in these places where some people like Sharia law and some people like this other kind of law. and Some people like this other thing. It's all a bunch of uh, little groups and tribes doing their own thing and, and fighting it out amongst themselves as they're, you know, hashing it out. And then here comes some foreign invader. No, they're all going to band together to kick you out. But the America, they weren't trying to do anything. They weren't trying to come in there and, and stabilize the region. They were trying to go in there, protect their drugs and hire some slaves to go out in the fields and protect the fields. Taliban seizes cities across Afghanistan as U.S. readies final withdrawal. August 9th, 2021. 20 years later, America's tucking its tail between its legs and, and, and off they go. Must have found another supply of opium. So that's what I have with that. A uh, quick, a quick thing. Sometimes I am cursed with a good memory. And it's like, no, they, they were, I saw these stories about fighting the drug war and fighting this and that. And it's like, no, America went there, gave them the poppies to plant, protected the fields, whether that was for big pharma for legal drugs, or whether it was so the CIA could sell he uh, heroin. Doesn't really matter, does it? So anyways, in this land where, uh, you know, inflation is going up and food prices are going up, hey guys, your heroin prices are going to go up too. You better stock up on your heroin now, because America doesn't have any monopoly in there in Afghanistan. So just letting you know. All right, with that, we're going to be out of here.